Welcome back. Thank you for watching our videos. Today we're working on a Toyota Camry LE 1997. We're replacing the corner marker lights. They look like this to this. This one we haven't replaced yet. See, it's got a hole in it here. I'm going to show you how to do this with a pair of pliers, screwdriver, some dielectric grease, roll of paper towels, and some spray lube. You'll also need new little push pins because they always break off. Not that one because I just lost. That's why I have a whole bag. And here's the new marker light. First, we take the flathead screwdriver, get underneath the head of this push pin, pull it up. And if you're lucky, the whole thing pops out like that. Normally, the top just pops up, and then you reach underneath the other lip and take the rest of it out. Now down deep in here is a clip that you have to push and pull the marker light forward at the same time. I'll show you a better view of that clip once I pull the light out. But if you look on the back of the side of the new marker light, you can see the tang that goes into that clip. Now that the marker light is out, it is still connected to the wire. And you can see this tab that I was pushing, push it towards the corner light and it is hooked into this plastic bracket right here. So you don't want to push it too hard. Just push it toward the corner light just enough to where when you're pulling the corner light forward, it comes out of the clip without damaging it. Now we're going to remove this from the corner light. As you can see, it twists in there and it twists to come out. Now you need to spray some penetrating lube down in here to help you get the clip loose from the socket. Make sure your new marker light does come with a new socket before you do this. Now that you've determined you do have a new socket, you can grab the old socket with a pair of pliers because if it damages it, you have a new socket. I've placed the flathead screwdriver down into where the clip is behind here. Now you can push on that thumb release and if it works, that's great, but it seems to never be that easy for me. But when you push on it with the screwdriver from the inside there, it pops free and you can see it's moved a little bit. Once it's moved a little bit, you can grab it with the other hand and pull it right off. Which I can't do with the camera in my hand, so I have to pause and pull. There is the little tab I was hitting with the screwdriver from the inside. Now we put dielectric grease right here. And you see how much dielectric grease I put. When we put the connectors together, that will spread out between the connectors. It will not only help keep moisture out of the connection, but it'll make it so much easier the next time you work on the vehicle. Once you've connected the connector, notice that back here, there is a clip that has to line up with this notch. And the other clip that we were working with before that goes into that little bracket. This lines up with the hole up here where the push pin was. And what were those paper towels for? Well, there's always this little bit of crud that's hard to get out when you're washing the car. And now that you have the marker light off, you can reach down in here, clean all that out. You also have access to a ground here, which I'm gonna take loose, clean up, put some dielectric grease on it, and put it back nice and neat before I put this marker light in place while I have room. Now I've set the marker light in place, take the new push pin, with it pulled apart a gap right here, put it down in the hole, which is lined up, and my assistant, Mr. Knee, will push on the light. work push pin down there and take the plastic butt of the screwdriver push the cap of the push pin down lock it into place go around make sure it's snug and you're done 